What's going on, guys? It's your girl, G Equal A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter. All right, so um, synchronicities came out in reverse in your pre-shuffle, and I decided to roll the camera because someone ignored um, synchronicities, and I feel like this is going to be an important message. Oh, and my ears started ringing, guys. So this is going to be an important message for someone, all right? Also, you know, I'm very intuitive. So when I think about the purple, I think about spirituality. I think about, you know, a higher power. Also, 87 reduces down to 15. And 15 reduces down to 6. And 6 is all about love. It's all about balance in love. So someone um, completely ignored the signs of the synchronicities involving um, some type of relationship. All right. Um, I think I thought it was important for me to shuffle in front of you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. So tell me, um, Spirit, what about this energy? What do I need to know about this um, synchronicities in reverse? Yeah, so completion is on a fence. So they ignored the signs and the synchronicity to complete a karmic cycle in a relationship. So, and this is a, this is spiritual growth. So not only did they ignore the signs and the synchronicities to some type of relationship, but they failed to complete some type of spiritual growth here. All right, remember, purple is all about spirituality. All right, number nine also is all about your conscience. It is the highest number before you start doing the double digits. So this is not only about relationships. This could be even a relationship with yourself. Spirit, tell me more about this energy, please. Um, also, the pink. We're going to take those back, Spirit saying. But the pink is also manifestations. So, you know, you got to remember it's very important when you're trying to manifest something and you are not paying attention, not paying attention to the synchronicities. If you get a um, synchronized number pattern, make sure you realize what you're thinking about um, so you could really kind of like put the pieces together on what Spirit is trying to tell you. Moderation. They failed to have moderation, okay? They failed to have temperance, self-discipline when you think about moderation and... Um, what I see on this card, they failed to leave an environment. When you think about green, you think about the environment. You think about earth. I also feel like they failed to have some type of self-discipline when, when it comes to their heart. Because green is all about heart chakra. Okay? They failed to make a change because 14 reduces down to 5. And 5 is all about creating a change for the better. Alright? And it was supposed to be a passionate change with this fiery energy. Okay? So that's what's going on here. Someone failed to uh, take heed to the um, signs and synchronicities about a relationship that they were supposed to complete because it was a karmic ending because of this nine here. And they had a lot of outside influence when it came to the environment. And they lacked self-discipline and moderation when it came to temperance, temperance themselves, like tempering themselves um, to not do the things that was unhealthy to their growth. All right. Yeah. Look, you guys were supposed to have some type of spiritual partnership here. Okay. It was a spiritual partnership that was supposed to come about and it did not for some reason. Maybe because of parents and issues. Okay. Maybe because. You didn't take leadership in a parenting role to move you towards your spiritual partnership. You didn't take leadership in your parent and your parental rights when it comes to you putting your foot down 
and letting it be known that you can still take care of your child without being together with that partner anymore. Lack of leadership, collectives. Now there's a new beginning and you didn't realize you, you wasn't you wasn't utilizing your intuition about this new beginning. All right. And I feel like this new beginning got a lot to do with this spiritual partnership, because what do you think about intuition? You think about your mind, you think about your spirituality, you think about being guided by a higher source. OK. So that's what's going on here, collectives. Someone fell to uh, take heed to the signs and the synchronicities that they was getting about a uh, spiritual partnership here. Thank you. They failed tremendously on the signs and the synchronicities about coming to the, together with their kingdom spouse, I'm hearing. This was a spiritual partnership. All right? And also, this also reduces down to nine. So they were supposed to, you see how that worked? 27 reduces down to nine, seven, eight, nine. So this partnership, this spiritual partnership was supposed to be their kingdom spouse. Okay? That's why they was receiving the signs and synchronicities. And then with this nine also, this was the karmic completion. Okay? They failed to utilize their intuition on a major new beginning that could have involved a lot of healing. This spiritual partnership provided and would have provided major healing, but not only healing to the collective, but to humanity. It was bigger than the relationship. It was your kingdom spouse. Okay? There was some type of leadership that needed to be taken in your parental rights, in your parent parenting status. And you needed to put your foot down and realize that you can take of your take care of your children without being there for that person. If you're not emotionally fulfilled, that's why spirit was bringing you this spiritual partnership. It was literally your your kingdom spouse. Tell me, tell me what I need to know, spirit. Tell me what I need to know, please, and thank you. But if you was the one who was um, who had to separate yourself because of some parents and issues that somebody put you in, there will be another spiritual partnership for you. But I think the person that didn't take the leadership role in some type of parenting, your their karma would be losing out on a spiritual partnership. Yeah, so they will be stuck in poverty. They, it will be a complete pause with their money because they they have completed completely disregarded a spiritual partnership that was sent by the divine. And when you do that, you have to remember their spiritual laws because they were supposed to there was something divine that was supposed to come out of this partnership, this spiritual partnership. It was supposed to take somebody out of poverty. Now, the person that stayed in this parental role and lacked leadership is the one that's going to be stuck in poverty. But the one that tried with this um, spiritual partnership but had to disconnect themselves is the one that's going to be able to have another chance. Okay? Yeah, so there's some talk in a family room. When a family room come out, it means there's some secrets. There has been some some talk um, amongst a whole family. Yeah, about a gift not coming in. This person probably been um, confiding in their friends and their family about them losing a spiritual connection. You honestly, I'm feeling like you made you you created a healing energy around this person, especially if this person was dealing with poverty. Especially even if this family room was just a room that they didn't feel like it was a house or a home. You know how when you can't, you don't really be fulfilled. 
but there's a gift that didn't come true and they feel like they're going to be stuck in poverty, but more so a spiritual aspect. Okay. Yeah, I think they felt to make the right judgment call. And now they are being judged. All right. Because if they felt to uh, stand up in a leadership role in some type of parenting status that caused a spiritual partnership to not come into fruition because it was for humanity to evolve, I'm hearing, then there will be consequences. Like we can't escape that. The most spiritualist person cannot escape spiritual laws. And if somebody got in between that, it will be major, devastating consequences. Because, because now somebody's contract has been terminated spiritually. There could have been a divine feminine expecting something. Um, we're going to see what this is. This probably could have been a divine feminine expecting this spiritual partnership to not come in. Thank you, spirit. And this possibly could have been a parent that another person was supposed to have leadership role in. So this divine feminine was expecting this not to come to fruition because they know it was a spiritual partnership. They know it was your ticket to a new beginning. They knew it was a gift from God. They knew it was a ticket to get you out of poverty. And if you was the divine masculine, that was the baby father and the parents that lacked the leadership, they knew that if this spiritual partnership would have came into fruition, it would have been a gift from God. It would have took you out of poverty and you would have never fucked with them no more. You would have just been solely fucking with your child and you would have started a new beginning. But it came out in reverse. They did not want that to happen. They knew this spiritual partnership that didn't come into fruition. All those signs and synchronicities. And I'm getting, they even was getting them signs and synchronicities about the spiritual union. This was your kingdom spouse. This was your ticket out of poverty. Because people could do it alone. But when you got that person there, boy, that's really praying for you. When you got that person there, that's really caring about did you eat? How did you sleep? Worrying about can they make your day better? That's where the real gift is, collectives. And I feel like, you know, because again, your blessings or anything cannot be stopped. It could just be delayed. And I feel like that's what people fail to realize. No matter how hard you try to stop a spiritual relationship, it's only up to spirit. Whether these two people don't come into union right now, if spirit want them together, it will happen. And I feel like that's going to happen. Or they may even get with somebody else, but it won't be with them. That's what spirit will do. Spirit will have both of them move on. To find other people. And the person that try to keep this person. And expecting a spiritual connection. To not come into fruition. Will be receiving a message of concern. Yeah. Because they stopped. They tried to stop this official person's journey. They try to stop it. They try to play God, and that's where they fucked up at. you never supposed to stop someone's destiny. You're never supposed to try to control nobody, and you damn sure not supposed to get in, in between something that was orchestrated by divine, which is a spiritual partnership. It clearly says that on the card. So whoever delayed this masculine, the karma for this masculine probably is just to realize that they did they, that they was with they a kingdom spouse with this spiritual partnership and that they might have to stay in poverty because it's been on the fence it's completely blocked whoever was expecting this already knew their journey was right
What is this poverty on a fence? What is this poverty on a fence? Hmm. A mature man. This mature man might have to stay another cycle in poverty because they failed to look at the signs and synchronicities of their spiritual partnership because they lack leadership in a parenting role where they were supposed to place judgment because this was orchestrated by the divine. And remember, the spiritual partnership card adds up to nine and so does the completion card. So they were, they were supposed to complete a karmic cycle and start a new spiritual partnership. Those, the nine, the number nines, and that's nine, nine. Okay? And if you add that up, what? Nine and nine is what? 18, 18 plus um, one, eight plus one is nine. So that was just a whole completion. It was ending of a karmic cycle and starting a new spiritual partnership. It was supposed to take them out of poverty. Not that you needed to help them, but... A spiritual partnership, you're just going to feel better. You're not going to worry about the money. There's going to be an ego death because you're going to really feel the love from that partnership. You're going to really feel the highest form of love. And anything before that, it's not going to exist to you no more. And the parent, the one that was expecting something, she was also getting the signs of synchronicities. That this masculine was about to be on a journey to leave her ass. Because she knew about this divine partnership. This spiritual partnership, I'm sorry. This masculine probably started to move different with her. And she probably realized, wait, this masculine never did this before. I know somebody caught his eye in a different way. This masculine is what I'm hearing. Probably didn't even want to have sex with her no more. And that's when she realized, wait, this other spiritual partnership got something on her. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, but there's a mature man that may have to do another cycle in poverty because he failed to take the leadership role with the gift that spirit was giving him. It was the key to success and um, out of poverty. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to take all those cards, but I will take that one. Yeah, the sudden wealth. Once he would have ended that karmic completion and started that spiritual partnership, he would have received his sudden wealth. That would have been his ticket out of poverty, but they both came on the fence. That would have been his ticket. It would have been sudden, is what I'm hearing, because that's what happens in spiritual partnerships. It's like sudden, instant. Everything that was poverty, poverty, mindset, it, it, it leaves, like miracles start to evolve. Yeah, look, and he would have been a wealthy man. He would have been a very wealthy man, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't just, you got to understand this is deeper than just material. He would have been spiritually wealthy because he would have got with that spiritual partnership. So even if he would have had a poverty mind state and would have did shit and try to take the easy way out, that partner would have put him in check. That partner would have brought light to the situation. That partner would have gave him courage and energy to do things in a more healthier way. And that's where the growth would have been. And this man would have been not only a mature man, but a wealthy man. That's what spirit would do. And he would have been placed in high honor. Because that's also what spirit would do. Place you in high honors. Having everybody bow down to you because of your relationship. Because of how you hold your significant other in high honor. You got to remember the relationships that you get in really speaks values of how people see you. All right, here goes this message of concern again. Somebody expected something that they thought they tried to stop and all reality, they delayed it. Whether this person be with her or not, she ain't going to have him. Look, and she will be in bad health because of that. That's what spirit would do. Spirit will put you in bad health because you're trying to force your way in a partnership where it has served its purpose. And now you're starting to get in front of, in a way of spirit's work. That's where she done fucked up at. Now look, her pathway is done. The courtship is over. 
she will be having to work all her life because she was a false ass person. What's the closing messages, Spirit? What's the close, closing messages? Forgiveness. Your masculine probably wants your forgiveness. Yeah. Because now they want to follow their dreams. They are realizing. They realizing all of this. Now they want your forgiveness. Because they want to follow their dreams now. They know. Look. And they have surrendered. They have surrendered. They surrendered into knowing that they made a bad decision. And they love you. And they know that they lacked healing. Give me one more card to close this out. I think this is going to be a twin flame reading because I think this is love here. But this made the wrong decision and got to pay the price. That's what I feel like. Look, the happy endings is in reverse. It was supposed to be a happy ending. A love and partnership. It was supposed to not only be a love and partnership, but a spiritual partnership, guys. All right? And it was supposed to provide personal growth, but it did not. It was, it was supposed to provide this person personal growth. It was a love and partnership. All right? So that's what I have for you guys. I hope y'all figure it out. And if there's something that is worth working out, then by all means, don't let the comics win. But if it has sucked you dry, then they're going to have to stand on that. All right? I love you.